It's not long till Valentine's Day now, but don't worry, I've got another handmade gift idea for you. So this Valentine's gift idea is going to be a rustic wall mounted heart that you can peg photos and different memory items on there. Now ideally you'd be using something really rustic, something like pallet wood would work great, but it's a little bit awkward at the moment trying to source pallet wood, so instead I'm using a piece of floorboarding. The floorboarding that I'm going to use is tongue and groove, but that's not important for this project, just use whatever wood you've got lying around. You don't need a lot of tools to make this project neither, really you just need a jigsaw, a drill, some sandpaper and some bits and bobs to mark out with. The first thing you need to do is cut the board to rough length, don't worry about it too much. I was aiming for about 40cm so I could get a decent sized heart in the end, but go with whatever you think looks good. Once I got the boards cut to length it was just a case of butting them up next to each other and drawing a rough shape of a heart. To cut out the heart shape I used a jigsaw, it makes really quick work of this job. If you use a hand clamp as well to just secure it to the table, it stops any kind of vibrations. To add some battens to the back I still use the floorboard, but using the jigsaw again I cut it into thinner strips. I just cut two pieces to rough length that I'll act as battens for the back of the heart. You don't have to do this if you don't feel comfortable doing it, but again a hand clamp really does help to secure it down and it uses less material this way. All the pieces are cut now so it's just a case of sanding them smooth and removing any sharp edges. Once the pieces were smooth it's time to put them together, like I say the floorboard that I'm using has got tongue and groove but it doesn't really matter, just put them up next to each other, flip the design over and then secure the battens on the back. I do highly recommend drilling a thin hole before putting your screws in though, that just helps to prevent the wood splitting. With the holes drilled it's time to add the screws. Do make sure you're using the right length though, you don't want them poking through the other side. Now it's time to decorate the heart and this is going to be based on your decor and the different styles that you like. I'm going to go for more of a watered down effect, I want a bit of a wash on this rather than just a solid paint. So I watered down some red furniture paint and I applied it with a brush. While the paint was drying on the heart I could turn my attention to the clothes piece. I'm using wooden ones that have sprung, I think these will look great on this project. And to add a little bit more interest to them I painted the top side of them white, I think it will offer a great contrast against the red. Once the paint was all dry, it's time to glue in place the clothes pegs. I'm just using super glue for this, it's quick and it's plenty strong enough for this application. A small bead along the back and hold it in place till it sets and jobs are good in. I also wanted to add string onto this so it almost looks as if it's a clothes line that you're hanging your photos on and memories, all that kind of stuff. So I added some dabs of super glue and glued the string in place as well. All that's left to do now is hang it on the wall and add your memories. I'm well chuffed with how this has turned out. It's a dead simple project, but I think it's a great gift idea for Valentine's Day, so I hope you give it a go for yourself. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it, that way you'll get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.